Hello, and welcome back to our What If We Could Survive Dauntless series. Let us recap the event of our previous video so that you may be up to speed as to what has been happening in our world. Last time, the Earth crumbled into pieces, releasing not only a wave of deadly radiation from the Earth's core called ether, but waves of mysterious creatures as well. The Blue Wyvern, known as Malkarian, was a formidable foe and gave humanity quite the challenge. However, now we must focus on the path that lies ahead. It has now been three months after the rupture. The Earth is now split, and most of its oceans and water sources have either disappeared or are unreachable. By now, you and the other survivors that are in your state have all come together to rebuild and form a stronghold as well as share any information you could amongst each other. You are unsure if others across the planet survived or if there are even other states or continents still standing. However, before we could figure out that something captures immediate attention, another creature, one of fire and anger, has been spotted in our area and has taken a local volcanic mountain for its new habitat. The creature's massive stature and power release intense heat waves that not only threaten our lives, but the only source of water in our vicinity as far as we are aware. For the sake of the law, we will call this creature Torgadoro. After speaking with our group, we all decide that something must be done about this incredibly dangerous behemoth. However, killing it is not the only challenge we face. Since the creature resides on an active volcanic mountain, we also have the high temperatures to deal with. So how do we proceed? First, we must find a way to shield ourselves from the intense heat. Rumors from across the state have reached us that said that others have fought creatures of similar element, and when they use their own parts to form armor and weapons, they notice that the armor was resistant to that element without harming the wear, and the weapons were very effective against creatures of the opposite element. So after fighting smaller behemoths of the same element, we have now forged our armor and weapons and can now withstand the extreme heat. However, what about the creature we must now face at the top of the mountain, Torgadoro? First, let's analyze the creature's powers and abilities. We know that the creature possess unbelievable pyrotechnic powers, being able to not only be made of fire, but to cause extreme heat waves and massive fires. The creature also resembles a giant gorilla, which will no doubt have immense physical strength, putting this behemoth at country level or perhaps state level. Now we know the creature, could we survive? Let us find out. With our weapons drawn, we engage the massive behemoth in battle. However, due to its sheer strength and size, we find that it would be better to fight the creature at a distance, so we open fire on the behemoth and keep at a safe distance. But the monster is very stubborn and puts up a fair fight. The battle is getting very intense. Our weapons seem to have an effect on the creature but it would seem the creature has not only immense physical strength, but vitality as well. However, after battling the monster more and more, we are able to spot more weaknesses and time our attacks more precisely, allowing us to finally deliver a critical blow to the behemoth and bringing the battle to a satisfying end. Torgadoro now lays dead, and we have saved not only ourselves, but our only water source as well. Now, of course, this all sounds good on paper or in a video game, but could we actually survive Torgadoro in a real life scenario? What do you think? Could you survive? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so that you will not miss the next What If video.